over at gunpoint, slapped and missing money. That's what a high profile Houstonian says he went through. Yeah, that former longtime elected official says all of this was done at the hands of a law enforcement officer. Isaiah Carey joins us with the exclusive details in the Factor Uncensored. Isaiah? Well, you know, guys, when I got the call about this story, I wasn't shocked at all. This is part of life for some African American men in this country. People who are born suspect, that's right, suspect no matter how much success, education, or notoriety you achieve. I was coming home, like I said, about 9.45 p.m. Saturday night. Uh, on my way to get some gas. I live right here in the Acres Home Community, so I was on my way to come and get some gas. Everything okay? Jarvis Johnson is a former Houston City Councilman. He says he was leaving his business for the night. He owns and operates on B's Restaurant. We're going to give you what? Some black eyed peas? That's fine. All right. He says he also had the cash from the day's sales on him, about $4,700. Officer threw his lights on me, and uh, I was in the far left lane, so I had the only safe place to, to really pull, to pull in was here at this gas station. It's the only thing that's open. That's when the surveillance camera started rolling at the local business on North Shepherd. Now keep in mind, Jarvis, who's in the black SUV, was pulled over for a traffic stop. So ask yourself this question. Why is this Precinct 1 Deputy Constable coming at Johnson, who's in his car with his gun drawn? It looks like Deputy John Brown was walking up on a SWAT scene. I never pulled the race car. Be real. I never pulled a race car. The one thing that made me understand what this was all about is when he pulled me over and he shouted the expletive at me. When he pulled up and had his gun drawn at me and said, what the f are you doing? If you cut that damn music down, you would have heard me. Right then I realized what it was. And I said, officer, if you listen to my car, I don't have music on, sir. That's talk radio. If you don't get that, Johnson is saying the deputy had all the stereotypes set up in his mind. Driving while black, so this guy must have on loud rap music too. And we're not done yet. Oh no. The former Houston City Councilman says he was handcuffed and put in the deputy's car. By that time, about a half dozen cops from HPD showed up. But Johnson says just before he was handcuffed, he was hit in the face by another officer. I had my cigar in my hand. I, it was in my hand and I wasn't going to drop it, nor did I want to feel like I had something concealed. So I went to stick it in my mouth and by the time I turned around, I got slapped in the face. By, by another officer, which I didn't see. Remember, there are more than a half dozen officers on this scene, all with access to Johnson's vehicle, a vehicle that also had his wallet with that $4,700 from his restaurant on the driver's seat with his ID. Unfortunately, that money came up missing. How much are we talking about here? $2,500. The incident was over after I had been released from the backseat of his car. Then anger took over because I recognized that if me, business owner, mm. former city council member, you know, person who's well known in the community and, and do a lot in my community, if I have to go through that over a simple traffic violation, how many other men, black men, young men have to go through? what I went through that night. Now, a spokesperson for Harris County Constable Alan Rosen says they're invest investigating this case. Johnson doesn't believe much will happen. As I said, none of this shocked me. This is an issue that African-American men have had to endure every day in Houston and around the country. I even found myself being stopped by a deputy in my community, and he wanted to figure out who I was because of a burglary alarm at a nearby place went off, so I was the closest one, so he pulled me over and questioned me. This is something that goes on in our community all the time. Now joining me live now is local attorney Jolanda Jones along with local community activist Derek Muhammad. When you saw this story, what did you think about it? I thought his Fourth Amendment rights were violated. The officer had no right to go into the car. Uh, you don't get to go into the car. It doesn't look like Councilmember Johnson gave him consent to search, which is why I've been given Know Your Rights with the police seminars uh, 
for the last 15 years because this does happen in our communities. And it doesn't just happen to black men, it happens to black women as well. How important is it to educate the community about this, particularly African Americans, Derek Muhammad? I think it's imperative and it's absolutely critical to begin to teach and train the African American community how to handle situations like this. Evidently, you, have a, you had a cop who was out of control but thank God Jarvis Johnson knew enough about situations such as these to stay in control and I believe that education and training made the difference between Jarvis Johnson uh, walking away al alive and being the next Mike Brown. Now you look at that picture you're talking about over a half dozen police cars and he walks away with a speeding ticket. Well as I said before it's, it's hard to explain to people who aren't black what the black experience is. But I also believe that if you know your rights, then you're more likely to come home alive and perhaps you won't have a case thrown on you because officers do that as well. Mm -hmm. But I hope Council Member Johnson has filed an internal affairs report, although I agree that nothing will probably happen, and also catalog it for the Justice Department because the constable's office needs to be investigated, uh, as does HPD. And I'd be curious to know what happened to the 45 or $4,700 because there was no crime committed. They did not have a right to seize anything, and so I'm wondering what's gonna happen with that. And real quick, Derek Muhammad, uh, is this something that African-American males and, and all African-Americans should be aware of? Know when to pull into a well-lit area, follow all the instructions of the officers so nothing will happen. Absolutely, and this is why we support what Jolanda is doing and having her Know Your Rights seminars, and I believe that this is something that needs to be taught in public school, if need be, because this is something that we go through every single day and if I said it once I've said it a thousand times just as you cannot clean a dirty floor with a dirty mop you cannot clean city streets with dirty cops all right Derek Muhammad Jolanda Jones and Jolanda Jones gives out her know your right cards and, we and we'll have... continue with this after the show so stick okay. around with us now Jolanda sticking around join her Katie Melinda and myself on your computer or your device at myfoxhoustonlive.com we'll talk a lot more about this incident and the concept of driving while black at six o'clock back to you guys